hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl maureen glow obviously i hope you all are doing really good and okay and yes without no delays let's get started you guys if you remember weeks ago or months ago now i can't remember for sure but i did talk about kemi onuloyo you know forgiving davido and moving on and whatnot but it seems that is not exactly the case because kemi onuloyo reacting to chef Chi's post that's choma's post wrote a very long episode of how um she has forgiven davido but not forgotten how davido had insulted her but guys before i even go into that i'd like to read to you what um choma posted okay um you guys choma supposed to read and i quote if i decide to arrest her for all the things she's been saying about my husband and i yeah all we say it's unfair be warned that okay um <laughs> someone said wahala be like bicycle but anyway guys i'm not even going to say much let me just go ahead and read to you how kemi responded or reacted but trust me it's very very long but i'm going to read for you guys yeah that is why i'm here right all right you guys kemi wrote and i quote I may have forgiven Davido to all of you, but I haven't forgotten how he insulted me and never said the one simple word for his tweet. Sorry. It was utter disrespect. I don't forgive people. That is just a lie to pacify you. I just forget. I will truly never forgive Davido, period. I don't need anyone's opinion. I am not his mate and already told him his life history. Chama should just shut up and not step on my toes before I deal with her mercilessly the rest of this 2020. I hope Choma Roland didn't write this. If I start with her and why she has never been able to enter the United States and post a do 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 video, okay, I, I believe you understand what I'm trying to say. I just can't say it because of YouTube policy and what's not. Okay, um, yeah, with Peruzzi, her cousin, you won't like it. Be warned. Davido is not her husband yet either. Looks like Davido typed this. You two idiots just think because Ibi you me, hope I'm pronouncing that right, arrested me, anyone can. You think journalists make up stories. Some of you don't even know why my case was withdrawn. Adeleke money can't buy you a US visa or prevent coronavirus. Face your life and the marriage you are missing. If Davido wanted to marry you, he would have. Choma, stop being clueless. I'm even older than your parents. If you don't have wisdom, go effing learn it or get my words into your head. Don't step on my toes. Stay in your lane. Aluma has already done his job. Let sleeping dogs lie. I have more serious things at hand. All your celebrity friends have been begging me for you idiots. From Tiwa to Sam Clef. I repeat, stay on your own lane. Your money means nothing. You haven't achieved one damn thing in your life, young lady. Rented a Porsche for your birthday you can't drive. Broadcasted a cooking show you can't cook nor launched it yet. Calling yourself a chef without training. Let me stop or if I continue, it will be a bad fall season for you. Not your baby daddy's hit song, but September to December 2020 is called fall season in America. I need nobody's feedback. Until someone insults your mother to go oil a P.U.S. Says why in front of nine million people you won't understand. Don't ever use innuendos on me, it doesn't work. Davido and Choma effing stay on your own lane. The end, okay. <laughs> you guys, what do you think? Like, ah, this is a clear case of trouble. They sleep young gang away come. Choma, why? Maka, why? <laughs> Someone said, want to learn how to insult and drag people, learn from Kemi. Yeah, that woman can drag for Africa. Anyway, 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 you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And yes, let's move on. You guys, if you can remember, yeah, about two or three days ago, Sissy took to her social media handle, I think, um, Insta story, yeah, to write pretty girls with natural bodies and regular jobs are still winning. Don't let social media fool you. Okay, now reacting to that, actress Princess Chingu have this to say to Sissy. She wrote, and I quote, I heard someone saying girls with real bodies are winning. Stay there and win in peace. I'm happy for you. Meanwhile, I need a surgery vacation. 
who is coming with me i beg i know so many girls that have insulted and blasted girls that did surgery in the past and now they want to go and do lipo and bbl but they are scared of what people will say go do you boo anyone that wants to join me for a surgery vacation i beg let's go after corona i need a recovery body on a private island living your best lives okay <laughs> um guys what do you think let me know what you think in the comment section below because for me i don't know to be honest so let's move on moving on you guys ha <laughs> guys this particular gist shall but anyway we're gonna talk about it abby yeah um guys y'all know the rumor about rosie being the reason for tonto dk and chochi's breakup yeah and chochi claiming that oh rosie is just my best friend we are parties and whatnot okay now that's not the reason i'm even talking about this gist the reason i'm talking about it is because um chochi enabled subs being thrown at tonto okay now chochi posted a picture of rosie and captioned it welcome ig Fatima as my WCW. Isn't she beautiful? Taga, if you know her, which is cool, right? But wait until he entertained Uchemadwagu's sub or throw or shades. I don't know which one, but then he did, which was a childish thing for him, Churchill, to do. Anyway, let me not say too much. Let's just go ahead with how Uchemadwagu commented. Commenting on Churchill's post, Uche wrote, at Olakule Chochil, this one is not troublesome. It'd be like, say, you train him well. Zero drama, beauty queen. And Chochi replied, perfect. Yes, with the perfect emoji, all right? Then um, Uche replied, Chochil now wrote, Thank you, sir. Rosie has no cosmetic surgery, yet beautiful. That's the role model Niger youth need. Someone who is proud of her natural body. Like, how do you mean? You guys, it's obvious it was referring to Tonto. The sub was for Tonto. You get what I mean? But anyway, it is what it is. And yes, let's move on. Moving on, you guys. Pastor Chris Oyahilome lambasted pastors who are yet to reopen their churches despite government, you know, directive for worship centers to reopen, okay? According to him, he said, this is a great concern because there we are churches that we are taught to be churches until recently. He then went on to say, we find a lot of ministers who we are taught to be advocates of the gospel advocating for shutting down the churches because they cannot guarantee safety. It is pressure like this that reveals what is a church and what is not. Do they really believe in God? The same God of the patriarch in the Bible? When you get to the point where you are afraid of opening churches for the fear of being infected, you have denied the faith you never believed. Okay, guys. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section below because I really do not have anything to say, okay? um, You guys... Atres Ketenshaw advises parents to resist the urge to put their children on social media. Yes, there is that. Anyway, she wrote, I know it's hard, but resist the urge to put your children out there on social media. When they are old enough to know the dangers associated with it, then many are roaming, washing, tracking with evil intentions. May God protect our children in this new age. Amen. Parents, you've heard what she said. I hope you stick to the advice and do accordingly. Meanwhile, rapper Eriga is set to wed his baby mama Morenike. Yeah, guys, congratulations to them and I'm really happy for them. And yes, we've now come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Click on the bell icon for notifications. Like this video if you do. Comment and share. And I, yours truly, will see you on my next one. But until then, my darlings, be good, be nice, stay safe, and bye-bye.